everyone, Adam here. And in this quick little video, I'm gonna show you how to implement charts in your AdminJS dashboard. I've got a really simple AdminJS instance with just a import export feature added to be able to add my data set to the database because we have to show certain data in the charts. So first things first, we will have to override the dashboard. And in order to do that, we're gonna use a instance of the component loader. Then we're gonna create a components object. And since I'm overriding the dashboard, I'm gonna name my component just dashboard. Same here. Okay. I'm going to create a dashboard.component.tsx file inside of which we'll create a class that will take care of, uh, of generating the actual chart. I'm going to name it line chart component. And now we're gonna add a component did mount method, which will take care of a access request because we will need to send a request to the AdminJS API in order to get the data required for actually drawing something on the charts. So here's a, there is a couple of things that's going on here. First of all, as I mentioned, my AdminJS instance is hosted locally. Then I'm asking the API. My resource is called Movies. And here's how I actually format the data. So I want to be able to show the, the movies in a descending order, depending on when they were released, right? So I want to show movies from 2020 first, then 2019 and so on and so forth up until 2005. So I'm gonna tell it to sort it by the year column and the direction of the sorting should be descending, right? Also, I'm telling it to show as many records, uh, records as possible. Now I'm gonna take care of the promise once it resolves. Okay, next method that we're gonna add is a method that actually generates the chart. And for that, I'm gonna go over to the recharts documentation and I'm gonna grab a really simple, a really, really simple line chart. And just paste it over here. Then I'm gonna grab all the imports listed in the same called a code snippet. Okay, there is a couple of things we'll have to take care of, which is that we'll have to provide the chart, the data it requires, and we'll have to change the name of the axis. So first things first, I took the liberty of creating the algorithm for parsing the data from the database which I'm gonna use here. And what we'll need to also do is we'll have to take care of the axis and the input data. So the data key here for us is gonna be score and the name is gonna be year. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now that we've got our, our component working, our generate chart method that actually generates the, the components, 
what we need, the charts, we'll have to create a method called render. And it's going to call the generate chart method. That's about it for React component. I'm going to create a dashboard.tsx file. Inside the dashboard.tsx file, we're going to create the canvas for our dashboard. So the first things first is we're going to import React. Then we're going to import our dashboard component, which is the line chart. To make sure it is actually imported correctly, just to be extra sure. Oops. And then we're going to export our dashboard. Then inside the index TS, we're going to add our component loader to the options of AdminJS instance we've got going. And then we're going to have to override the dashboard with the custom component. And that should be it. Let's give it a try. And it looks like the chart is working. All the interactive features are here. Perfect. That'll be it for today.